You know, I'm so proud to say today that the general consensus is clear. Supporting sustainable economic development is really the right thing to do. You know, as we work together to abolish poverty in our First Nations communities, we must recognize both First Nations and Canada's futures are intertwined together. Our partnerships must be mutual, must, must be mutually beneficial for all of us. We are trending in the right direction, but together we must do more. In the spirit of cooperation and collaboration, we must move forward in finding a balance that looks at long-term community comprehensive planning, land use planning, and a new fiscal relationship. It's the responsible thing to do. As many of you know, when I ran for regional chief and when I got elected, I said, my office is going to be in your territories. I've crisscrossed this province all over, and this is a big province. But it's also a province that is very dynamic, rich in history, rich in culture, and ready for economic development, sustainable economic development. And let's not forget why we're here. We're here to create a better quality of life for our people, and we need to make change. We need to have change in our community. We need to break down the status quo and build a better future and partnership based on trust, respect, and reconciliation. Thank you very much. I want to just close with, with one thought. And, uh, you know, I talked a lot in the opening about Lake Babby Nation and going down this path. And, and Chief Wolf Adam said something when we were all together, uh, when a large contingent from the nation was together with the, with the province. And he said, in the past, they had a, a system of fish weirs for harvesting fish for the, for the fish that were coming up into their area. And many, many decades ago, government came along and said, no, no, you can't do that anymore. And they put in their own way of doing it, which didn't work for the nation. And what Wilf said is, we can't go back to what we had in the past. But we can't use what government has put in place because it's not working. What we need to do is we need to both embrace change and come together and find that new path. The one that can work for the nation and for the people and the one that can work for government. Change is never easy. Change is about thinking about things differently. And not just one side, but both sides. How we together change to find a path for a future. And I want to leave you with this. Government is taking the step forward towards that change. And my hope is that you're willing and prepared to come and take that change with us. Thank you for spending your time here over the last day and a half.